Yes. Oh, what is it? It's ironic that we're helping these priests. Honestly, I don't think they care what a bunch of vampires would do with Ariel's bow. They're pretty focused on the past. As long hm. as we can get this Verther out of the Sanctum, I think they'll be happy to just hand it over. Perhaps. But we had to go to the Forgotten Veil. Vampire Lord started with a powerful drain life spell in their right hand. A reanimate corpse in their left. They can disappear and reappear. And this is where you find and they actually get some quest markers for these. I know I'm just kinda of jumping boat here. If you get out of this cave system and, you know, not die. In fact I recommend you quick save quick save. Because I have actually fallen off a cliff and died and went all the way back to the beginning of Darkfall Passage. I was pissed. Yeah, you can fall down there and die. And if somehow you should survive, I don't think there's a way back up. And here is the Forgotten Veil. Hazy, fog filled, desolate land of mystery Who's there? and beauty. Done and done. Untouched by mortal hands in centuries. There isn't much threat here, if I can be completely honest. First off, you're gonna wanna go this way. Follow this to the northeast. To what is this? To yes, to the northeast. There is a way shrine. You need to activate it. Is that another one of those way shrines up there? Yes. You have how well prelate Arthring. Is the way shrine of sight. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Yes. Then behold our As you can see they're actually just holding an olden dagger, that's a real neat touch. Your journey to the inner sanctum. Now these do activate, act as teleporters. So if you really wanted to, you could go back to Darkfall Passage. I don't know why you would want to, in fact I don't get indoors or recommend you do. Anyways. It'd be very stupid in order to, to do that. But you can if you want to. Now don't let that one where it looks like it's indoors worry you. It's just that that's just how big this area this is, because it and it counts as going to a new area. But it's still on Darkfall passage. That's how large this area is. It takes two what screen space. Oop. Okay, it should be okay. Should be fine. This is the kind of thing I've been wanting to see. It makes everything else work. That's real interesting, Serana. And here you have another way shrine. It makes me wonder what this place would be like if the Falmer were still, were, weren't 
complete savage, and weren't stupid enough to wage an unprovoked war for... Well, I don't know what those reason, what their reasons were. Some people theorize it's because of what they found in Sarthal, and others say it was out of fear for their growing numbers. You've reached the Way Shrine of Learning, Initiate. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? I am. Ariel bless you, child, for you are a step closer to the inner sanctum and everlasting wisdom. Sure. I'm no fan of the sun. And yes, here's the other one, to the Shrine of Sight. So you can jump around shrines if you want. I don't recommend it, but you can if you want. Personally, to me, that just makes navigating this place a little bit more confusing. I don't think there's anything of much interest around here, though oh, there is one point of interest coming up relatively soon. Right now, you just want to follow the, alongside the river. Just a little there. Do like I mean. Ah, a frost giant. These don't even exist in Skyrim anymore. An amethyst paragon. I don't know what this is. I don't know what they're for. What I know is, they're worth a lot. And there's a glass greatsword if you really want it. Though, you, you, he will always have that paragon gem. But, everything else is randomized loot. Next, you just want to continue up this way. A little bit tricky to get up here, but this is the outright. This is the actual path. Yes, that is true. This area is kind of depressing when you really think about it. First, they near they lose the war they started out of either fear or greed. And then they were destroyed by their own people. Prelate near lore, near lore. You've arrived at the Way Shrine of Resolution. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fear? Well, I can upload in resolution over 480 pixels, but regardless of that, yes, I am. And go forth, child. May the enrichment of Ariel strengthen your resolve as you undertake your journey to the inner sanctum. Now, you travel farther, but this is a pretty interesting area right here. The ice fields. 
Here you see a dead skeleton with some resist fire potions. This should be an obvious sign. That should be. That's a little strange, don't you think? But what's this over here? A stone monolith? With dragon writing on it. Why is there dragon writing on a stone monolith? Perhaps because you have the twin dragons. This is one of the best, this is one of the most fun fights in the game. It's insane. But it is so much fun. They dive in and out of the ice. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce their names. Whenever they land, they don't stay on the ground for very long. Usually. But this is insane. You fight the twin dragons. Which, because of my level and my equipment, they went down without much of a fight. But you get two Dragon Souls for your trouble. Dragon Bones, Scales, Steel Bolt, and a Steel Sword. And yes, I have a Weightless Dragon Bone and Dragon Scale Mod installed. Shut up. Or don't shut up, just... just don't get upset with me, please. It's purely out of convenience. Here you have Learn of Power, Magicka, Drain Vitality, and another Elven Chest. Looks like these people died undergoing the ceremony to this twin dragon. Amethyst, Money, Potion of Extended Invisibility, Extreme Stamina, Ultimate Healing, Conj Storm Atronach, and an Ebony Battle Axe if you really want it. That is a really friggin' cool fight. And one of the best parts of this DLC. I don't know if there's any loot in the water, and I really don't want to go down there to find out. Moonstone? Moon, moonstone? Moonstone, excuse me. I'm going the wrong way. Now it is easy to become to get turned around after all that. Just continue following the ice field. And you will find the path you're supposed to follow. Half frozen waterfall, that's cool as hell. Last I checked hell was really hot. This was just another. This was actually the way up you were supposed to take. Whoops! Hmm. Looks like a battle took place here. Look at human skeletons. A 
perhaps they did die to the fire. I don't know. Perhaps I'm not meant to know. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, dragon having a spasm. There's the path you're supposed to take, I think. I'm actually confused now. Another way shrine, I know that much. Perhaps it's just further this way. I don't remember. Yes. I'm sorry for that utter failure of content creation. Okay, now I'm even more confused. Okay, this is the path, but as you can see, Falmer. The betrayed have stretched even down here. These vile creatures. Let's not go in there. I don't think I'm supposed to. Continuing this way, you see there's another ramp path, and a little more of these coarse things. Hate the hunters. I hate coarse in general. Nice shot, Serona. Up the ramp, up the paths. We're almost to the initiator. But unfortunately, we have to go through more of these disgusting creatures from domain. And must travel through here. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.